In our sure state, more than 5,600 illegal refinery sites have been destroyed, while over 4,480 illegal connections were removed between 2021 and now through the NNPC Command and Control Center. The group chief executive officer of the NNPCL, Meliki Yari, stated this while delivering uh, a speech at the a lecture rather, at the Obafemi Awolo University Faculty of Science in Ilefe. TV City News correspondent Rafiu Hamid reports. The challenges facing the energy sector and its impact on business environment and economy in the country cannot be underestimated. Policy instability, vandalism, oil theft are some of the challenges. Between 2021 and now, thousands of illegal refineries were destroyed while over 4,000 illegal connections were removed. This is part of efforts towards achieving sustainable energy. At this Faculty of Science annual lecture, Mille Kiari says sustainable energy will increase people's access to power, cooking fuel, and other products. And we're on the right path. And you cannot have sustainable energy until you actually have basic energy, which is that we must close that gap between the access to power that we don't have to have 50%, increasing more power generation capacity, transmission, the bottlenecking, and, and ultimately you can close that gap of power su supply. He also said the recent divestment of multinational companies in Nigeria is an opportunity for would-be local and international investors to thrive. As they walk away, new players, mid-scale players come into play. And we really see that the exit of some of our partners, particularly on our onshore and shallow water assets, is really not a challenge. And we don't see it as a reaction to a business environment because it's a definite business decision that companies always the annual lecture has as its theme energy security, sustainability, and profitability in Nigeria, advances, challenges, and opportunities. Oil remains the mainstay of our economy. That is why I consider the title of today's lecture very apt, pertinent, and extremely timely. Nigeria could export over 5 billion tons of hydrogen to meet the global hydrogen demand by 2030 worked up to 15 billion US dollars each year to the economy by that time. The event featured cultural display and presentation of awards to the guest speaker. The guest speaker believes no country can dream of prosperity without energy. He however said energy security and sustainability can be achieved in Nigeria with the steps being taken by the president, Bolatinobu, especially in the oil and gas sector. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Ilefe, Ocean State.